During the weekend, I built a group of research GPTs where I can pass on a link of Airtable that contain a list of different research objects. And they will be able to extract data from the Airtable, research together, and fill in the results back to the Airtable for me. Behind the scenes, there is a swarm of different GPTs working together, from breaking down the big research goal into a prioritized list, to actually browsing the internet critical results to produce high quality research. And what's more exciting is that you can actually expand this system to more and more different working groups to expand its ability further if you want. And I want to show you step by step how I did it. If you watched my videos before, you probably know I'm very passionate about building an AI researcher because research is such a fundamental ability that AI can do and has a wide range of use case scenario. And for the past six months, the AI development has been so crazy that every two months I will build a new AI researcher with a lot of new capabilities delivering higher and higher quality research. Back May 2023, it is a simple large language model chain that follow a very linear process. It is basically a function that can take in a research topic, triggering the Google research and let large language model to choose which links are most relevant and scraping the website and in the end, get large language model to generate a report. I can type in the topic of Twitter threads I want to write and it will do the research and generate the thread based on those information collected. So even though it works, but it is really linear flow. For example, if the new reference information found from the content script, it won't be able to research further. So it is only good for very obvious, simple research tasks. But two months later, AI agent became a pod topic. And if you don't know what AI agent is, it is a combination of large language model, memory, and tools. So it can do the reasoning to break down a big goal into separate tasks and also have access to different tools like Google search API to actually complete those tasks and also have long-term memory to remember what he did before. And one of the most fundamental difference is that AI agent is more goal oriented. So you can give a fairly ambiguous goal, like research facts about what happened to Sam. And it is able to take multiple different actions to complete this goal. So very quickly, I built a second version of a research agent where I give a special system prompt as well as access to basic tools like Google search and scraping. And the quality of research result is a lot higher. It is able to continuously navigating through the internet, find more and more reference articles until a point that it feels that it got enough information and completed tasks. I can just give it ambiguous research code and it is able to return a high quality research results as well as a list of different reference links. So it was a huge step forward compared with the first version of AI Researcher. But it also has problems. The biggest one is the quality is not consistent. Sometimes it delivers awesome research results. On the other hand, it can't really handle complex or constrained actions that OpenAI didn't really want it to do. So if I wanted to research about the phone number or email address about a specific prospect, it kind of refused to do so. So in summary, it is great for a list of different tasks, but the quality is not assured. But after a few months, a few multi-agent systems emerged like MetaGPT and ChatDev. It allowed the system to tackle more complex tasks. They tried to improve the task performance by introducing not only one, but multiple agents working together. And the recent framework like Autogen made the creation of those systems even easier. And it is very flexible to create all sorts of different hierarchy and structure to orchestrate the collaboration between different agents. And as OpenAI released Assistant API and GPTs, the cost of building useful agents has significantly dropped. So this got me thinking, why can't I create an AI researcher 3.0 where I can have the original researcher to still doing the research, but introduce a research manager to critique and do the quality control to making sure the result is always aligned with what the user want. And what's cooler is I can even introduce more and more agents into this system. For example, I can introduce another research director who can break down a large research goal into subtasks and delegate to both research manager and researchers and even do more tasks like reading and writing to an air table to save all the research results while the research team will be still focusing on doing the actual research. And the result is the research quality is a lot more consistent and system becomes a lot more autonomous as well as all those little agents just doing the quality assurance with each other. This represents a paradigm shift about what people think of AGI. At earlier this year, when we talk about AGI, often we have this image where this one AI can do all sorts of different things. Then the world might just have one AI that operates everything. But there are lots of different technical challenges to get this work. But on the other side, the sentiment now is whether we can create lots of different agents who are specialized in specific tasks, but figure out framework that lets them collaborate towards a shared goal. But how do you train highly specialized agent? Well, there are two common ways. 
you can either do fine tuning or you can create a knowledge base, which is what people normally call RAG, Retrieval Augmentative Generation. And they kind of serve different purpose. RAG is mainly used when you want to give large language model very accurate and relevant data, like get the most up-to-date stock information. But if your goal is to improve the model skills in performing specific tasks like data categorization or answering customer email in specific style, that's the time you want to try fine tuning. But here's one problem. Fine tuning of high performance open source model is difficult and requires specialized hardware with big memory capacity. And Gradient AI is a platform that really reduces the barrier for fine tuning. They make fine tuning and inference open source model extremely simple and accessible to all developers and enterprise. With just a few lines code, you can fine tune model like Llama 2, North Hermes, and others. You can also choose the programming language of your preference either Node.js, Python, or command line interface. And they provide all the tools and tutorials needed so you can get started very easily. And the best is their pricing model. Normally for fine tuning, you will have to pay all the upfront costs for dedicated infrastructure and computing unit. But Gradient removes the need for that infrastructure and you only pay for what you use by token. And if you click on the link in the description below, you will get $5 free credits to start with. So if you ever have need to fine tune a model, but don't know how to start, I definitely recommend to give it a try. And now back to our research agents. I'm going to show you how can you build this multi-agent research system step-by-step. Step. Let's get it. So the way we will build this system is our first it creates three different GPT assistants with different roles, director, research manager, and research agent. And each one of them play a different role where the director will be able to read and update Airtable database and also break down research tasks and delegate to research manager and researchers where the research manager will generate an actual research plan for a given topic and review and do the quality assurance for the actual research delivered by researcher and we'll use Autogen as a framework to orchestrate those collaborations and one good thing about using Autogen is they actually simplify how to use Assistant API because Assistant API actually structured in a way that you have to create a thread, send a message, wait, and continuously check the progress. To use that, you normally need to create a function like this, where it will create and run the thread message first and write a function to continuously check the progress until you get progress like require action to ask for user confirmation or send back readouts. But with Autogen, it's pretty straightforward. You can use a GPT assistant agent and just trigger message like normal. So let's firstly create assistant on OpenAI Playground. So I'll create a research agent first, which agent is actually going to browse the internet and do the task. So our given name, special instructions, you're a world-class researcher who do detailed research on any topic and produce fact-based results. You do not make things up and you should do enough research to gather as much information as possible. If there are URL or relevant links and articles, you will script it to get more information. After each scraping and search, you should think, is there any other new things that I should search and script based on the data I have now? But don't do this more than three iterations. You should not make things up. And in the final output, it should include the research reference link as well. And do not include a website like G2, LinkedIn, because those sites sometimes are gated or the quality or the content quality is not great. I choose GPT for Turbo and then add two different function callings. Inside, this is schema. The name is Google search description and the input will be search keywords and it is required. The other is website scripting. It will have two inputs. One is a URL of the website that it should script. Another is objective, which is the goal of the scraping website. Because for scraping, I will actually trigger a summary chain. So I want a large language model to know what are the goal of this research so that they can summarize content in a way that they lose those details. And the required is URL and objective. And here I just turn on code interpreter in case it needs to do some further data analysis. And once we finish, we can try it out. Let's say research about pricing model for relevance AI and click add a run. So you can see it do the Google search first. The search keywords is relevance AI pricing model. Let's say I return example results of this URL. Then it will try to do the website scraping with this URL and also the objective extract detailed information about pricing model, including any tiers, rates, or specific service feature, including each price point. So this is pretty good. The next thing is our creative research manager, given name and also this special prompt. So you are a research manager. You are harsh and relentless. You will firstly try to generate two actions the researcher can take to find information needed. Try to avoid websites that don't allow scraping and you will review the results from researcher. And always push back if the researcher didn't find the information. Be persistent. Say, no, you have to find the information. Try again and propose one next method to try. 
if the research want to get away. And only after researcher found the information needed, you will say terminate. So this researcher manager will basically play the role of quality control and making sure the researcher tried everything possible to find the information and click save. And the last one is director. And I will give it a special system prompt. You are the director of a research company. You will extract a list of companies to research from Airtable and break it down into individual research tasks. For each research task, you will delegate to research manager and market researcher to complete a task. Once a company's research is completed, you will update company information individually to Airtable and only say terminate after you update all the records in Airtable with information collected. And it will have two different functions. One is get Airtable records, which will be used to read existing data on a from an Airtable URL. And it has a few inputs, base ID and table ID. And the other is update single, and the other is update single Airtable record. It has other inputs, base ID, table ID, as well as ID of the specific record that I need to update and the data that to be updated. And again, I can test this one as well. So I will copy this link, research the pricing model of each company in the list. So it will try to trigger the Airtable records with the exact base ID and table ID. And let's say this is a list of records it return and click submit. Then it will read the result and break down into different research tasks and delegate to research manager and market researcher. And let's say it returns the research results and boom, it triggered four different update single Airtable records. So this is a new parallel multifunction ability that OpenAI just introduced. And as you can see, it gets inputs all correctly. So this is working well as well. So now we get both three assistants set up. We just need to connect them together in Autogen. So I will open the Visual Studio code. And firstly, let's create a new file called OAI config list. This is where you will store the OpenAI API key, putting an array as well as a model. And next, let's create a .env file. So this is where we will store the API key for other service, like browserless and server, which is the one we're going to use for Google search and web scraping. Uh, and I also put OpenAI here. That's because I actually want to use Langchain summarize chain later to summarize the content that agent script from website. All right, and next we will create app.py and first they import a list of different libraries that we're going to use and also load environment and config list. And now let's have an overview about what we're going to create. So we will create a list of functions that we're going to use from website scraping, Google search, get and update air table records, as well as four different agents we're going to create from user proxy agent, researcher, research manager, and director. And we're going to put them together into a group chat and in the end start a conversation. And firstly, let's create a function for Google search. And here we're going to use a service called Serper to get Google search results. So I'll give you URL, keywords, the API key and do a post request. And next is function for website scraping. And we will have two functions. One is the website scraping and summary function will be used if the content is too long so that we don't blow up agent's memory. And under the web scraping, we are passing on two input, objective and URL, putting in the header and data, which is the URL that we want to script and convert it to JSON string so that we can pass on to the API request. And here we are using browserless, which is a website scraping service. Before more sophisticated scraping behavior, you can also use API Fi or Rapid API, where they provide a wide range of data access. So I pass on the URL, header, and data. And if we get a response back, and then we will try to extract text content from the website. And if the length is more than 10,000 characters, then we will do a summary. Otherwise, it will just return the text. And for summary function, we're going to summarize it through a Langchain summary chain. So I'll create a large language model, use text splitter to split the large content into small chunks with each chunk size 10,000. And I'm going to create a list of documents from the split text. And here I will give it a prompt, write a summary of the following text for this specific objective. And here's a summary. And I will create a map prompt template and use Langchain's low summarize chain. So what this does is it basically try to make a summary of each chunk and in the end, try to combine them together. And then I'll put the final summary. So those are all the functions that we need for the research agent. And then I'll move down here to define the user proxy agent and research agent to start test. So I'll firstly create the user proxy agent. If you're not familiar with AutoGen, user proxy agent is basically an agent that can execute code or give feedback to other agents on behalf of user. And I will put a human input mode to be always so that I will always have a chance to give feedback. And next is we will create a researcher agent. So I will define researcher agent equal to GPT assistant agent, given name researcher and inside large language model config, I will pass on the assistant ID. And assistant ID is the one that I will get from the open AI playground. Also register the functions. So web scraping function will be point to the web scraping function that we create above. Same thing for Google search. So that's pretty much it. It's super easy to set up and I can quickly test it out. 
user proxy agent initiate chat research with surprising of randomness AI. And our open terminal tried to run this. And one thing to know is to run GPT Assistant in AutoGen, you have to install the specific version of AutoGen 0.2.0 B5. So making sure you install this first. And then let's run Python app.py. So you can see the user proxy agent trigger message was surprising. Then the researcher executed the Google search function and also start scraping. And great, so it returned the results with all different tiers. Okay, great. So that means we successfully set up AutoGen with GPT assistance. Now we just need to bring in more agents. So I'll create a research manager agent. Same thing, I'll go back to OpenAI, copy the assistant ID and paste in here. So research manager agent is also ready. And this research manager agent will review and critique the result from researcher, which in theory should really improve the quality of research. So let's try it out. I will quickly create a group chat with user proxy agent, researcher, and research manager. And I will trigger a message to the group chat manager why Sam Altman was fired. So you can see it triggered a message to the chat manager and the researcher start browsing the internet and get information. And here is the initial report. There are some issues scraping the content from website. However, Sam Altman's departure from OpenAI followed with review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently transparent in his communication with the board, leading to the board lost confidence in his ability to lead the company. And that's pretty much, this is fine, but it's not great. It's very like surface level information. But then you can see the research manager, he said, no, you have to find the information, try again. There could be confusion or misinformation around this topic. So first they check the official press release or statement from OpenAI or Sam Altman himself, and then look for credible news source or technology focused publications. So this is great. It will force the researcher to do more research and also give advice about where to look. And now the researcher coming back with more, more and better details, which is great. So the last thing I want to do is I'll create director agent. We should be able to access any Airtable link I have and conduct multiple different research actions and fill information back. So I will firstly move up to create a function for Airtable and we will use Airtable API endpoint. And to do that, you will need to go to Airtable slash create slash tokens to create a new token, give a name and also add a scope, which should have both read and write permission. And once you finish, you should come back to .env file and include Airtable API key here as well. So I will first create a function for get air table records. So it will pass on the base ID and table ID. Base ID is basically this part of the URL and table ID is this part of the URL. And second is we will create a function for update single air table record where it will pass on API key and the data will be records, the ID of the row and also the fields to update. It will be a patch request call and that's pretty much it. I will move down to the create director agent. Or define director agent with the specific assistant ID and also register the two functions for read and write air table. And in the end, I will add director into the group chat. So this, you can see how easy it is to continue expanding this swarm or to continue expand the swarm of agents. In our yet a new message, research the pricing for each company in the list with this air table. So I will trigger this message. So you can see the director uses the function to actually get a list of records from air table and then create a message to research for each company. Uh, it does hallucinate a little bit. Um, I probably need to change the system prompt a little bit. Now it is try to be creative and hallucinate about the different research manager it has. And then the researchers start doing different type of Google search, doing different, different Google search. And as you can see here, it is triggering multiple search function at the same time. And here I will also update the system prompt for director agent as well. So one thing I want to make it to do is making sure you delegate tasks one by one, do not delegate all tasks at once. And after each research, you have to update the research result individually to Airtable and then move on delegate next research topic. And the reason I do this is because the agent didn't have unlimited memory at this point. And I noticed that when there are a lot of items, the agent can trigger a lot of different Google search at the same time, which actually reduce the research quality. So I want to make sure the agent actually runs through research one by one. And I'll give it a message, research the funding stage amount and pricing for each company in the list. And I'll open this do Python app.py. So you can see it try to gather records from Airtable. And then it says the first company to research is this one. And the researcher start doing the research. And the researcher has returned the results about funding stage, but it didn't really find the pricing. So the research manager pushed back and then say, you can check the official channel as well as secondary source. So the so researcher actually start doing more research. And at the second try, it successfully get the pricing information as well. And on the right, you can see it automatically adding this information. 
and then it start dedicated for the next research topic, which is randomness AI. And you also get information for randomness AI too. Then move on to the last one, stack AI, and eventually finish all the research. And this is a pretty short list, but you can imagine creating a list of hundreds of research topics. And this research team can just autonomously running for a while until they fill in the information for every single row. There's still quite a bit problem. It's, and there are still quite a bit problems. The biggest one is memory. Because during the research stage, there are quite a lot of information with script. And often the researcher can forget the information he found before. But there are ways you can customize that as well. So AutoGen provides you ability to fully customize the group chat flow. So you can even set up two teams. With agent one should only have memory for certain information, agent B holds truth about specific information. So this is probably a good way to control the amount of memory for each agent. And in my specific case, the director probably should only know the final research output from the research manager instead of seeing the whole conversation chain. But the result is already pretty stunning. I imagine this research agent can be used for sales and VC who want to do a lot of leads qualification. So that's it for the AI researcher 3.0. It is really powerful. And the only thing to be aware is that this can actually cost a lot of money. So making sure you monitor your open AI bill. And this is just one example. As I mentioned, you can actually create all sorts of different hierarchy and collaboration workflow. So I'm very excited to see those fully autonomous agent teams that you start building. If you enjoy this content, please consider giving me a subscribe. Thank you. And I see you next time.